are these people? I'm sorry to do this to everyone and show you her photo. Everybody who watches this show basically knows who this is. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> Yes, we have to follow it with a with a hissing sound or some kind of noise making sound. We're talking about Victoria Newland. Well, she got a new job this week. I think I might have even predicted that she was going to end up either at USAID or NED, and we were right. How about that? Boo this man. Okay, so NED. He goes to the mm. board of NED. This is Jeremy Kuzmaro. It actually appeared in um, Covert Action Magazine, which has been around a long time. And Jeremy is a good writer over there. Well, I think he's the editor or the editor-in-chief. So he gets into this and says that on September 13th, the National Endowment for Democracy boo, announced that it was appointing Victoria Newland to its board of directors effective immediately. He did not have to stay out of the game long. She resigned as the assistant secretary. Uh, 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 yeah, there we go. Covert yeah, geopolitics. Assistant to the regional manager. Something like that. No, she was acting deputy, deputy secretary of state. She was basically like right underneath Lincoln. Covert geopolitics sure. has called her the queen of the chicken hawks and Lady Macbeth of perpetual war. War. As she. <laughs> As she has promoted a foreign policy of intervention, coups, proxy wars, aggression, Don't be and confused with cacaws in <laughs> Afghanistan, Iraq. Right, it's a bird joke. It's a bird joke. You joke about birds. Keep listening Ugh. to what little birds have to tell you, man. Exactly. Uh, in Iraq, lobster, Libya, Syria, and, and of course Ukraine. Of course. Newland served as acting deputy secretary of state from July of 2023 to February of 24 under secretary of for uh, secretary of state for political affairs uh, from 21 to 24 and the assistant secretary of state for European and Eurasian affairs from 13 to 17 as well as the US ambassador to NATO from 05 to 08 and is an, an advisor to Dick Cheney during the Iraq conflict. Of course. Okay. Naturally. Of course. Oh, Cowboy Kitty's got it right. Birds aren't real, Reef. That's that's right. Yeah. yeah. Her husband, very Reef. famously, is Robert Kagan. He co-founded PNAC, the Project for a New American Century, in 1998 around a demand for regime change in Iraq project that was accomplished in 2003 with President George W. Bush's invasion. Disturbingly, mm -hmm. which that's a great word to describe anything she does, Newland expressed glee at one of the greatest acts of environmental terrorism in history, the bombing and destruction of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, telling Congress that, quote, I am, and I think the administration is, very gratified to know that Nord Stream 2 is now a hunk of metal at the bottom of the sea. Well, not quite, but they did some... That's a lot of damage. In February. Is. What? They left the boot, though. Yep. Das they boot. forgot their boot. Yes, they certainly did. But in February of... In a February 2024 interview with CNN, advocating for congressional approval of another $95 billion for Ukraine, Newland remarked, quote, We have to remember that the bulk of this money is going right back into the U.S., to make those weapons, unquote. Basically, she was announcing her support for war profiteering. Mm -hmm. yep. And using the Ukrainians to shoot at and become cannon fodder for the Russians to expend those weapons to do so. Okay? There's, there's the queen warmonger herself and, and her husband, Robert Kagan. The neocon power couple, a one-two punch for the military-industrial complex, as described by Jeremy. Founded in the 1980s to do overtly what the CIA had done for decades covertly, the NED is a nonprofit corporation funded by Congress that specializes in mobilizing activist networks and advancing disinformation in countries targeted by the United States for regime change. The neoconservatism neo conservatism of the NED 
has been mm. evident in its appointment to the to its board of leading Warhawks like Henry Kissinger. Thank God he's finally gone. Frank Carlucci, who yep. was Ronald Reagan's defense secretary. Uh, it's big news. Berzinski, I believe that's Mika's father. Uh, like okay. Joe and Mika. Um, then sure. you've got current CIA director William Not to Burns. Be confused with Bill Burns. Zidislaw Bizinski, Bikinski. No. Famous horror uh, artist. Yes. Um, current CIA Polish. director Bill Burns, who used to be the Russia, on the Russia desk. Francis Fukuyama mm. and Paul Wolfowitz. Paul Wolfowitz also. I know him. Yeah, we know who he is pretty well. Wolfishitz. <laughs> Wolfie. Newland, of course, fits very well with this crowd within this crowd, particularly as a key architect of one of the greatest humanitarian disasters in modern history, the Ukraine War, which NED and the neocon establishment has fervently championed. Huh, how about that? Neocons? How about that? And corporate Democrats? And Joe Biden, mm -hmm. because his son was on the Burisma mm -hmm. board? Huh? Huh. How about and Yats is the well, we're gonna talk about that. So this was an NED conference that happened in Poland where they had talked about okay uh a right a russophobic right-wing government championed by the u.s that underplayed poland's role in the holocaust and applebaum is another raving psycho neocon she's married to the current yeah. polish foreign minister i think that's the guy who tweeted yeah. out hey th no no that was the norwegian guy congratulations not the polish guy Jeremy continues that these same leaders allowed foreign corporations to take control over their economy and imposed a neoliberal economic program that resulted in the slashing of social services, tax on organized labor, and declining living standards compounded egregiously now by the war. Huh. That would never happen now. Nope. Right? Robert Parry, uh, with Consortium News, wrote that to sell this neocon-driven regime change to the American people, the ugliness of the coup makers had to be systemically airbrushed, particularly the role of neo-Nazis and other ultra-nationalists from the right sector. Talking about Ukraine there. Of course, we know that Newland herself was present at the scene of the Maidan Square protest with U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Jeffrey Pyatt and famously handed out cookies. Cookies. And then, and then, of course, we've heard the audio where she turns around and says she's uh, in a conversation with Pyatt, featuring her bad-mouthing the EU and choosing Arseniy Yatsenyuk as Ukraine's first post-coup leader. Even though he had almost zero support among the Ukrainian people, Yats is the guy. That's a very famous thing that she said, sounding very much like a pro-consul from a past age of colonialism. In which the native viewpoint did not count. All the while, she mm. professed to be a leading, leading a glorious democratic revolution, working with neo Nazis and the ultra nationalists from right sector. And she yeah. had basically hand appointed their first quote unquote president, who was actually a dictator. She also hand picked Zelensky, mm. by the way. That, by the way, is Yats sure. on the left. Everybody here is Yats is the guy. Okay. Few people know what he looks like. That's Yats. Mm. And then you've got where you, where Newland is actually handing out cookies. All right, right there. <laughs> like literally with the Ukraine flag behind her. Just dusting disgraceful people. Um, I also want to mention that the other potential for who was going to be the first president instead of Yats was standing right behind her or right near her. It was Vitaly Klitschko. That was the other potential that they were going to use as the puppet instead of um, either Yats or Zelensky down the road. Okay. All right. Robert Parry, again, pointed out that Newland's conduct in Ukraine re resembled her husband Robert's and other neocons' conduct with respect to Iraq. Wow, that's a shock, right? Guy she sleeps next to. Right. In, bo in both cases, a complete disregard for local political considerations and history led to the unleashing of ethnic conflict, with the U.S. supporting elements in Ukraine that had fought the Russians in collaboration with the Nazis during World War II. Well, 
We Are also you fucking kidding me. Huh? We've been working with the Nazis during World post World War II for the space program. So <laughs> no, I'm not fucking kidding you. What's up with that? What's up with that? They did a very good job of taking out a lot of Russians. I believe 15 million of them in World War II. So that's what's mm. up with that. The NED mm. engages in a form of social engineering that helps trigger uprisings and revolutions in many countries that often lead to civil wars. Now, again, why do we have so many refugees? Because of organizations like NED that are funded by Congress as a nonprofit. Now, not for profit. They would never do that. You would never no. No, no. no. Chris, Chris. Not for profits would never be they would always be above board. Benevolent and you know? never nefarious whatsoever. And absolutely in the case of quote unquote spreading democracy, sure. Um <laughs> In many cases, it pits young people seduced by the allure of consumerism and an idealized view of Western democracy. God, that sounds like an Aaron Sorkin play. With I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Democracy simply doesn't work. Right. With older, more established generations committed to preserving their country's sovereignty from Western neocolonialism and, and to securing a stronger social safety net. That's the socialism. How about new? Well, overseas, but we keep mucking it up because capitalism, mm -hmm. capitalism which you're going to need a bunch later tonight. Capitalism. That one, yes, when you get that queued up. Now, as one example, the NED and Newland were very active in triggering a youth revolt in Belarus against the socialist regime of Alexander Lukashenko, which had been praised by even the World Bank for resisting neoliberal economic policies that fueled vast inequality levels in much of Western Europe and Eastern mm -hmm. Europe, right? Yep. So every time they try to resist Western influence or Western interference, huh, they end up getting cooed and Victoria Newland shows up. I remember she showed up famously in funny, Vene Venezuela. Funny works. She showed up in Venezuela um, the year before Maduro's election. Yep. In a statement announcing her appointment to NED's board, you had the NED director, Damon Wilson, another Count Smugula in waiting. He stated that, quote, as NED partners face increasing threats from autocrats around the world, Ambassador Newland's experiences will help the endowment sharpen its approach to, democ to supporting democracy advocates. You mean regime change advocates that will overthrow yes. any type of social movement forward for the people that will not exploit their resources for Western capitalistic in, uh, interests. Yes. Her lifelong commitment to quote-unquote democracy, holy shit, will be a valuable addition <laughs> to the NED board at this consequential moment for our mission. Light is dark, what? dark is light. This is, look, this is the CIA's <laughs> nonprofit. so what do you expect? Mm-hmm. Gaslighting <laughs> du extraordinaire, du jour. Newland, of course, however. Yeah, right? Of course, Kozmarov is going to correct the record here. Newland, however, was never committed to democracy in Ukraine, but to imposing leaders who served U.S. imperial interests. Same is true for Iraq yeah. and Libya and Syria. Libya. Libya. Syria. Libya. Syria. Mm -hmm. Where... Where U.S. military and covert operations that she championed empowered Islamic fundamentalists and warlords, because that works out for her. Yep. All right. We're just innocent men. No, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Significantly, Newland began her State Department career in the '90s, working on Russia-related issues under Strobe Talbot. Clinton administration's point man in Russia, who oversaw a U.S. campaign to support Russian Prime Minister Boris Yeltsin's re-election in 1996. Spinning mm. Boris. All right. That's a Time Magazine story. All right. Time Magazine proudly proclaimed Yanks to the rescue, the secret story of how American advisors helped Yeltsin now, win. Go ahead. 
Now, riddle me this, Batman. Wouldn't that be called foreign influence of an election? Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be what that's called? We we don't we don't do that, Reef. No. What no. do you mean? It's providing huh? a, it's providing assistance to a candidate. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. We're just providing okay. assistance and marketing support. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. Bless you. I'm allergic to bullshit. Uh, Bottom line uh, is that Newland, of course, has never championed real democracy, which must develop organically in any society. I agree with Jeremy there. She's a great fit for NED because of her brazenly colonialist worldview and support for social engineering products uh, projects in the service of the U.S. empire, which have made a mess of many countries around the world. And this is Jeremy Kuzmaroff. This is um, too hot for the media, THTM. And too hot to it's, trot. It's also at uh, covertactionmagazine.com. Too hot to go? Hot to go? What? Talking shit about um, Victoria Newland, warmonger extraordinaire, and her husband are definitely reasons why we get censored and demonetized and deplatformed off of TikTok. But there are ways that you can find us and support us. The best way to do Money, it, please. that that's always helpful, is that Cash App link up there. Also going to innnewsletter.com and signing up either for a monthly or annual subscription or even for free. And you'll find out yeah. daily all the stuff that we're up to. Articles, clips, live streams for that day. You get a weekly update mm -hmm. as well. If Jesse puts out something new once in a while, I put that out. Any kind of special interview, like the Eva Bartlett interview that we had with, um, yep. you know, for, for Reef and Colin. Eva Bartlett. Eva Bartlett. So that went up. Rob Durden did a special podcast that he went and put out to his um, to his Rumble, and I grabbed that, and I put that out to the newsletter as well. So we're trying to feature different members and everything that everybody's up to. Any appearances that we yeah. make, and we're going to talk about my appearances this week. I was all over the place, kind of. And then, of course... All the different channels and all the different places where you can find INN right there. You get innnewsletter.com, YouTube, Rumble. You have to hit the dash slash C slash any news network, which is weird. Kick.com. Yeah. Do you know how big Kick is? That Kick is the third largest streaming platform behind YouTube and Twitch, where we also are at twitch.tv. slash Catching up. In the news network. Rumble also. I think we're week. number two in the news category, I do believe, right <laughs> behind Hardlands. Nice. So we're on our way. 44, you know, 44 subs so far. Kick number two news agency in all of Kickistan. All of <laughs> Uzbekistan. Well, now uh, T Lab is going, so he'll pass us in about three days, I'm sure. All right. Three seconds. Yeah. X.com slash get any news, Twitter.com. And then you've got T Telegram, the Telegram channel as well. 